Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we are going to show you how you can do a nice photo engraving. So we have different types of metal over here that we are going to test. We have piece of stainless steel, we have a piece of galvanized steel, we have brass, we have aluminum, polished aluminum, and we have copper. Let's get started with a piece of copper. Uh, we're using 4 watt uh, DPSS uh, laser model with uh, 30 millimeter uh, focusing lens. So there is a one info uh, life hack that you need to know. So once the laser create dark image, uh, then you don't need to process the image. If it makes, uh, let's show it here white color then the image has to be inversed so here is inversed because it, it's white and here is regular so obviously for this one you need inversed image so for our piece of brass it makes dark so we don't need to make it inversed okay let's get started so let's get started it'll take about uh, 1 minute 35 seconds uh, like I said, we use 4 watt DPSS endurance uh, laser, it's now a deep uh, low, uh, Focusing lens is uh, 30 millimeters, you can use actually 40 and 50, but for um, high accuracy we decided to use a uh, short focal lens. Um, also, uh, the laser engraving speed is 100 uh, millimeters per second. So we have like 10 centimeters per second, so it's pretty good speed and um, we'll be ready soon. Keep in mind that you need to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser. Uh, we send special uh, glasses, special goggles with OD5, so they'll protect your eyes pretty well. Uh, and here we just use it uh, without any enclosure, but like I said, we always uh, suggest to wear goggles all the time because even reflective laser radiation can be dangerous. Okay, I'll take another 20 seconds. And the good thing that uh, this laser can be installed almost on any uh, CO2 machine, pre-printer, CNC router, so, very compatible. It requires um, 5 kilohertz frequency on your board. This machine has 10 kilohertz, so that works good. And a few more seconds. Okay. It's very impressive, isn't it? Okay, let's do something else. Let's engrave on a piece of, uh, I like, I like galvanized steel. Already made one, so let's uh, make it once again live. So here is, it becomes white, so we need to make inverse image. Okay, let me show you how you can prepare the image. We already have it here. And once we click it, there is a button, invert, and we're ready to go. So I just started and the good thing about uh, this particular frame that uh, you see that image quality is very very accurate and no lines and waves we call it waves uh, recently I made uh, tests on very high speed using some low quality uh, frames and only on low low speed you could do something here you see that's uh, a complete mess so yeah, the good thing about this, um, this particular frame that uh, the quality of the chassis is really, really good. Okay, we'll take another 52 seconds and we'll show you the result. Okay, let's see what we've got.
That looks good to me. What do you think, guys? The same parameters, same settings, so we'll do it on piece of brass. We just stir it. Another one minute, 30 seconds. We actually polished this piece of brass before and cleaned it up with ethanol. So it depends on uh, if it's oxidized or it's not uh, quite clean, then the result might be different. But anyway, let's see what we've got in a minute. Okay. It's good. Another five seconds. So a lot of people are using engraving machines and buying engraving machines with limited working area. So here on, on Biamo, you can have a very big working area and okay, let's see it. Yeah, looks good. And let's do on stainless steel. Okay. Starting the process and the last one will be on aluminum. We are working on an enclosure for this machine, so it will be like a cube or something that will uh, hide the laser emitter. So, but like I said, if you wear protective goggles, you'll be fine. And our special mount that carries the laser very, very good. Okay, it's ready. Mm, looks awesome. I think. And let's do the final experiment with a piece of aluminum. Okay, for this one we need an inversion. And let's see. Okay. The good thing with DPSS laser that it also has a pivot laser or we call it uh, focusing red dot so that allows you to once you see it on the metal it means that you're in good focus and here it's interesting that uh, in the camera um, you you see red dot however um, with your naked eye you don't see it i mean not naked but uh, without uh, in a camera because it's near infrared and the camera is sensitive for that so it's interesting another 30 seconds and we'll show you the results okay i'm excited to see it This perspective so it means that uh, you can only see through yeah like this when it's getting dark not not wide but getting dark and you can see but yeah aluminum is hard to to work with but um, anyway I'm sure you guys can do best with our lasers so hope that you like this video Please share it with your friends, subscribe on our channel and yeah, let me know which one you like the most. I think, yeah, I think on uh, copper was the best result, also not bad with, uh, with galvanized steel. So with aluminum probably you need to do some coating or something with stainless steel is also okay and doing pretty good on some, on, under some angles, very impressive. So visit our website to learn more about endurance lasers. So visit our website endurancelasers.com, our online store endurance-lasers.com. If you have any questions, uh, plus seven nine one six two two five four three zero two, my phone, WhatsApp, Viber, Telegram, and learn more about Biamo uh, visiting ultimate three D printing store dot com. Have a great and wonderful experience with endurance lasers and Biamo flux. Take care, guys. Bye bye.